Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to make a podcast that you've recorded sound better. First of all, if you enjoy this video, make sure to hit like and also subscribe and ding the bell so you don't miss another video. I cover all kinds of audio production and podcast production tips. Let's get into Adobe Audition, which is right here. And I've got a podcast that was recorded in, well, a very podcast unfriendly room, you could say. It's not the worst in the world, but we can definitely improve it with a few simple steps. Let's have a listen. I created this trailer to welcome you to what will be my podcast, which for anyone unfamiliar is an episodic form of internet radio that will be okay a few things going on here first and foremost first we can hear and we can see those breaths in the waveform view of adobe audition exactly where i'm highlighting and in fact you can even see those breaths without needing to play them back they appear right there there's also a bit of room echo going on cast which for anyone unfamiliar you can definitely hear the kind of huge space that is being recorded in there and we can reduce that really really simply by adding on an effect and you can do this either in the waveform view which is this view i'm working in now or you can go into multi-track view and it may be a really good idea to learn multi-track in audition it's this click box up here and then we can call it podcast 001 like that and then we can bring that podcast into track one and we can even name it the host and then later on we can name this track music and we can name this track guest if we're going to have a guest on the show as well and we can jiggle these about as well if we like so i've just used the hand icon there to pull it up and down to wherever i'd like it to be but that's absolutely fine and if we don't want tracks we can right click them and then we can delete the selected track here so delete the selected track we can use Control alt and backspace which of course would be command option and backspace if you're on a Mac. So simple as that. And now if I hit control or command and backslash, it makes my screen nice and big and easy to work in. So now we can add effects uh, without destroying the waveform. So if we work in waveform view, we're destroying, we're changing this audio file. We can't, we have to do many steps to undo and go back. Whereas in the multi-track, it's all non-destructive. We can add stuff on and take it away. And I'm gonna do this in the effects rack just here. And the first thing I will do is go into noise reduction restoration and I'll add D reverb. And then we just fade this up from zero to 100% and reduce that room echo. Let's try it. I created this trailer to welcome you to what will be my podcast which for anyone... Unf okay, right up at 89% is really pulling our podcaster straight into the microphone, getting rid of that echo. But also, the further you go up with this effect, the more it degrades the quality of the audio. So we definitely want to get a happy medium uh, and get it as loud as it needs to be, but not too much. So let's try again. I created this trailer to welcome you to what will be my podcast, which for anyone... I think around 44% will be absolutely fine in this instance. Next, I want to go on and add a bit of a noise gate to make sure none of those breaths are getting through. And here's a ninja hack to find out how to set your noise gate. Double click to go back into waveform view. I'm actually going to click everything by double clicking again. Control or Command C to copy. And then we'll start a brand new audio file. So that's file, new audio file or Control Shift N or Command Shift N. And we'll call this duplicate. OK, it doesn't have to be your whole podcast if it's 30 minutes. It can just be like 10 seconds. And all I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the speech and leave the breaths in like this. So eventually when I've deleted all of the speech and like I say, it can be a 10, 15 second sample, 30 seconds maximum. And you'll get something like this left over. Just breaths, no talking. When I play it back, you should hear. OK, so there we go. Just the breaths, no speaking. The reason I've done it on a duplicated track and not the original, I don't want to affect the original. Now I can run something in the window menu called Amplitude Statistics. It's here. Really helps if you actually undock this panel because there's loads to see here. And then you scan the selection. Boom. OK, peak amplitude is minus 16.45. That's a bit higher than I'd like it to be. And I can see around here there's a kind of... There's a kind of mouth click there. So I'm going to take that out. Otherwise, it's going to impact my result. Let's double click everything and scan again. And we get, OK, minus 29.64. That is more reasonable. Remember the peak amplitude of just the breaths, minus 29.64. Back into multi-track with our original speech here. I'm going to go ahead and add in amplitude and compression, dynamics. And I'm going to go to default view. And I'm just simply going to go for the auto gate. OK, and what this does is it closes when audio falls below a level that you set and opens when audio goes above that level. So all the speech should be opening the gate and breaths and background noise should be inside the closed gate. Remember that magic number? Minus 29. 
pop it into the threshold box here, make sure auto gate is ticked. Don't worry about any of this just yet, and let's play it back now. I created this trailer to welcome you to what will be my podcast, which for anyone unfamiliar is an episodic form of internet radio. Okay, it's good, but you can hear the gate clipping in just too much there. It's just clipping a little too much of the audio. Leave the attack and release the same. If you get this problem, push the hold up a bit. Let's push up to about 40, maybe 50, just 50 plus milliseconds. I created this trailer to welcome you to what will be my podcast. And can you see now what's happening with the gate when I push the hold up? It's actually holding open just a split second or so longer uh, so that it's not clipping the words. When I pull it right down. I created this trailer to welcome you to what will be my podcast. The lights are very green, red, green, red, open, close, open, close, very harsh. And then pushing the hold up again. Let's put that around 50. That was quite a nice sweet spot. I created this trailer to welcome you to what will be my podcast which for anyone unfamiliar is an episodic form of internet radio that will be available on demand in which cool. my visitors and subscribers will be able to convey. Excellent. The gate is working exactly as I'd like it, getting rid of all that stuff we don't need, all the breaths. Um, if you want a less harsh version of this, just set it up over here on the expander. Again, minus 29, push the ratio up slowly until you get the desired result. But I usually stick with the gate. I find that is quite good. Uh, now we can just start doing uh, a few edits here to this uh, little part of the podcast. Episodic form of internet radio. Okay, a little stumble over internet radio, internet radio. So internet radio. I'm just going to try chopping this off and then what I'll do is I just hit the delete key there to delete that radio before radio and then I'm just going to grab this by the title bar drag it over and you'll see this crossfade starts to come in so it does a nice little fade uh, between the end of that word and the start of radio let's listen now is an episodic form of internet radio okay that's much better is an episodic form of internet radio and we'll just maybe do it a notch more. Is an episodic form of internet radio. Perfect. And then we'll go back and listen to what it sounded like before. Form of internet radio. Internet radio. And then we've got. Form of internet radio. Perfect. Sounding confident, sounding great, sounding really good. This is already well compressed. As you can see, the volume of the audio is a consistent level, really, uh, looking here. So that's pretty good. Uh, what I might go ahead and do then is add on a little bit of EQ, filter and EQ. Parametric equalizer is my friend yeah. here. Always set this to default so you've got a flat line. Start with a high pass filter and push this up until it starts to thin out the voice. I created this trailer to welcome That's you thin. to what will be my podcast, which for anyone unfamiliar... And bring it back in until you hear the full voice again, just rolling off the low end frequencies that don't need to be there. We might clip this on the high and we might actually move some of the high end up. I created this trailer to welcome you to what will be my podcast. And we can start to tweet. Which for anyone unfamiliar is an episodic form of internet radio that will be available on demand in which my visitors and subscribers... Okay, that's pretty good. So in just a few simple steps, we've got a nice sounding podcast host. Multitrack, mix down entire session, gets you back to where you started. This now has wonderful gaps where the breaths or background noise uh, were occurring. Uh, just in general, everything is sounding better. It's less room echo going on. Bit of EQ to improve things. And we have very quickly, in the matter of a few minutes, gone from something that looks like this with lots of breaths and echo. You can see it if I pop open spectral frequency. Look, no silent gaps there to something that is actually very nice and clean. Look at that in spectral frequency. Nice, clean gaps in between the speech and a nice bit of EQ as well and no room echo just the way we like it. Let me know what you're doing to improve the sound of your podcast in the comments down below. And if you want to make your podcast sound even better, I highly recommend you grab my pro podcast presets that are available right now for you to use on your podcast. Instantly make it sound great by going to mrc.fm forward slash presets. That's mrc.fm forward slash presets. Thank you for watching and remember to subscribe for more audio and podcast production tutorials.